Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark from Insect Governance and this channel is all about spreading the knowledge about protecting your business from cybersecurity related threats. Today's video is going to be a quick one about the Data Protection Act. What is it? Why you should be aware of it? And why you need to actually comply with it? Now, I decided to make this video as I've talked to quite a lot of businesses over the last year or so, which are still either not aware of the latest revision of the Act or they're just not aware of you know, the need to actually comply with it or what they have to do to actually comply with that act of themselves. Either way, these, if you don't actually comply with this act, you could get into a lot of trouble if you're not fully aware of it and you're not actually complying with all the controls. So what is the Data Protection Act? The Data Protection Act, or DPA for short, is a, a UK or United Kingdom Act of Parliament. The act was passed way back in 1998 originally, well before the internet and online usage and social media and all that became mainstream. And the act was um, developed primarily just to control how your personal information was going to be used by organisations or the government related bodies and how it actually gets processed by you know, computer systems and things like that of the day. It was set up to protect people as well as laying down the initial rules about how people's data could actually be used and processed like it is now sort of thing. The Act applies to all information which is related to living people, whether stored on a computer system or whether or not it's actually a paper-based filing system. If you as a business do not adhere or process store the information properly in lines with the Act, then the Information Commissioner's Office or the ICO can actually come in and investigate your business and potentially actually fine yourself, the directors or the business, or worst case, actually uh, suggest imprisonment. So one thing you should know is that directors of the business have sole responsibility when it comes to the protection of information. If it's found that your business has breached Data Protection Act or the GDPR, which we'll quickly explain later, then you know the people at the very top of the business are in charge. They're, the line stops there. You know, even if it's some person down in the bottom of the, the company that's actually done something accidentally, it's not their fault, it's the owners of the business or the directors of the business. Now, back in 2018, the Act went under a major revision, which helped it actually align towards the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, which was actually released by the EU and was built in just to help give more freedom to uh, data subjects. This ensured that more protection and controls were put in place against data, uh, pers personal data. And it's actually an area where I'm actually still seeing businesses or a lot of people actually still referring to the Data Protection Act of 1998, not the Data Protection Act 2018. Now, it's amazing the amount of people and websites and stuff that still have this in, uh, referenced incorrectly. So, you know, take this time to have a look at your website, have a look at your documentation, your contracts and everything else. Just make sure that you're actually referencing the, the, the correct data protection act. So why is the act important? The act is important because it not only provides some guidance and rules on how organizations and the government department should be storing, processing and using your business data or your data, but it also includes the following. It aligns your processes or the process of the business around dealing with how to store and process personal data. It also helps protect the rights of people, otherwise known as data subjects. It allows the ICO to enforce the rules and apply the necessary fines if any business is found to be in breach of these controls and it helps to uh, the organization to be liable for any breaches that have been found it also gives the data subject or yourself uh, the right to be forgotten as well as um, requesting information about what that business holds on you and it also ensures that the data is properly protected by the business and helps ensure that the data is only kept for as long as actually required now this in general pretty much says it gives you the data subject or your customer your staff your, the supplier whoever it is that you're storing that information on the access and the power to actually see how their information is being stored how is it being processed how long it's been kept for and things like that. Now I'll link some references below this video just for further information for you but if you aren't aware or fully up to date with the Data Protection Act or GDPR then I would certainly recommend you have a read of the links below the video and get up to speed with it. The ICO has quite a lot of useful uh, information on their website. It's non-technical, it's fairly easy, it's straightforward and go from there. Now this is a massively quick overview of what the Data Protection Act is. You know, it's not meant to go into a lot of depth or anything like that, but it's just meant to give you a bit of a, an overview of what it is, why you should be using it and going from there. So I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, feel free to give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.